Nish, one of the oldest towns in the Balkans on the crossroads connecting Europe with the Middle East, has been called the Gate of the East and the West from time immemorial. It is there that along the Morava River, several directions meet, that towards the north, namely Belgrade, and further towards West Europe, the one towards the south along the Vada River Valley, towards the Saloniki and Athens, and the one towards the east along the Nisha and Maritza Valley, towards Sofia, Istanbul, and further towards the Middle East. These roads were known as early as in the Roman and Byzantine periods as Via Militaris, and in the Middle Ages and during the Ottoman sway as the Constantinople Road. Nowadays, they represent the main arteries in the Balkans, which make niche the crossroads of Europe with Asia Minor and the Black Sea region with the Mediterranean. The town was named after the Nishava River, on the bank of which it was built. The oldest preserved artifacts, which can point to the time of its exact origin date from 4000 BC, and are exhibited in the Archaeological Museum in Nish. Historians call it the town of emperors, as it was the birthplace of Constantine the Great, perhaps the greatest Roman emperor who, by the Edict of Milan, in 313 proclaimed Christianity the official religion in the Roman Empire. At the time of Constantine the Great, Nish the Dionysus had a luxurious suburb called Mediana, to which the remnants of villas, baths, sculptures and mosaics testify. It is one of the stops on the Roman Emperor Trail, a tourist tour through Serbia, featuring birthplaces of 17 Roman emperors. During its long and tumultuous history, the town of Nish has seen many wars and much devastation. Many European rulers passed through its gates, such as German Holy Roman Emperor Frederick I Barbarossa, who was greeted in 1189 by Serbian Prince Stefan Nemanja, aligned with him against the Byzantine Empire at the time. For years, the town of Nish was under the Turkish rule, and it is from that period that the Nish fortress, built in 1723, traced its descent. That fortress is ranked among the most beautiful and preserved Ottoman edifices in the Balkans. Today it houses an art pavilion, galleries and a research center, but the most prominent feature there is the summer theater, hosting film and music festivals, the royal palace, a comfortable residence of Muslim estate owners, also dates from that period. One of the most famous sites of Nish is the Cherekula Tower, which the Turks made of skulls of Serbian heroes after the Battle of the Cheddar Hill on the 31st of May 1809, during the first Serbian uprising. In that battle, Commander Stevan Sinjelic, famous for his courage, accompanied by 3,000 soldiers, having been left without the aid, he sought took a position in the middle of a trench where gunpowder was stored. When the Turks swarmed the trench from all sides and had it for him, Sinjelic fired his handgun into the gunpowder container, triggering a huge explosion that shook the surrounding fields and hills. The Serbs that were still in the trench with Sinjelic and the attacking Turks were all blown into the air and killed. The Pasha ordered the Celekuma Tower to be built on the Constantinople Road. Today, Nish is the administrative center of the Nishnava district and the regional center of southeastern Serbia. It is also the industrial and tourist center of national significance. Being a junction of European roads and railways and having an airport, it is easily accessible from all directions. It is a modern university town and is also an educational, social, economic, health, cultural and sports center of southeastern Serbia. It has more than 250,000 inhabitants and is Serbia's third largest town. Only some 10 kilometers far from the town, one can pay a visit to the Nishka Banya Spa, in which people have for centuries been treated for cardiovascular diseases or rheumatism. Its thermal mineral springs, with an average temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, were known back at the time of the Romans and the Byzantines. One should not miss a visit to the Sicevetka Klistura ravine, a canyon through which the Nishava River flows, and on the slopes of which there are some 30 beautiful churches and monasteries. Its beauty earned this ravine the title of a special natural reserve.